Spring may not have completely sprung, but you can feel it getting ready to. Maybe by the other side of spring break, it'll be here for good. Whatever the weather, this is the season of hope, and we're all hopeful that our emergence from the COVID cataclysm will continue. Once again, I have to express my admiration and gratitude for the remarkable fashion in which the entire Purdue community has faced and worked through all the difficulties of those two years. Our free choice approach produced a vaccination rate over 90%, an excellent cooperation by those who chose the regular testing path. Now, as recommended by the CDC and our own medical advisory team, we'll be dropping masking requirements, except for healthcare facilities, effective next Monday, March 14th. We know many will opt to continue wearing them and we'll keep a supply of the most protective masks available for all who do. And if someone who believes themselves at risk asks you to wear one, please go along. Personal responsibility and respect for each other is what got us this far. And those values aren't COVID dependent, they're fundamental and permanent among Boilermakers. If we've all learned anything from this experience, it's never to assume that it's behind us for good. We all hoped that was the case last fall and then along came Omicron. After the break, we'll continue surveillance testing, including new techniques like wastewater analysis, so we can spot any resurgence of the virus in its earliest stages. It was two years ago this week that the world changed on college campuses and everywhere else. We don't know of a school our size that stayed as open as Purdue has, and we have to keep that record going, safely. So have a great spring break, remembering that wherever you're going, you'll almost certainly be more exposed than we are here. So stay safe, and please come back in the same spirit of mutual support and protection that got us to this hopeful moment. Boiler up.